It's Pastor Mills here with another motivational moment. And listen, this one, I, I just want to encourage you and motivate you to live through it. Paul writes in Romans chapter 8, verse 18, For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. I, I know we're all going through something, whether it's fiscal or financial, whether it's family, familiar, or it's physical, we, we have to remember that it's not going to last. Um, the things that we deal with are temporary. Uh, I was told by an old preacher one time that every storm runs out of water. And although it seems like we're dealing with so much right now, I want to just encourage you to continue to live through it. Uh, I, I'm honest when I say this and not everybody's going to agree, but we should be thankful for our problems. We ought to be thankful for our struggles uh, simply because they're not meant for our destruction, but they're rather meant to push us toward our destiny. Matter of fact, James, Jesus's brother, writes, count it all joy whenever you, whenever you encounter diverse temptation. And what that means, brothers and sisters, is we're going to go through some stuff, but we can't get down uh, because those things that we go through are truly trying to push us to the master. So I want to encourage you to keep pushing, to keep praying, to keep pressing. Don't go in a corner and cower and fall to pieces and fall apart. But I want to encourage you to stand firm and, and stand on your beliefs, to push forward and to live through it. The Bible says in Psalm 23, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. That means that we got to keep going through. It's not meant to hold us hostage. It's not meant to take us out. But we have to keep pressing forward to get to the other side. And, and beloved, as bad as it may seem right now, just imagine how much greater the celebration is going to be when we come out of it. That's why Paul writes, the things that we're dealing with right now, they're not even worthy to be compared to the glory which God is going to reveal in us. So that means the storms that we're going through right now shall be magnified in glory on the other side. So don't get down, don't get depressed, don't get despondent, but hold on, hold fast, keep the faith, stick with it, stay committed, and I want to motivate you to live through it. If Christ can live through Calvary, you can live through your, may your mayhem, your chaos, and your circumstance. Don't give up. Don't give in. Live through it. It's Pastor Robert Mills, another, another motivational moment. You all be blessed.